I'm Diane Kochilis. I am a Greek-American uh, chef and cookbook author. I'm the, also the owner of the Glorious Greek Kitchen Cooking School on a very beautiful island in the Eastern Aegean called Ikaria. This is one of my absolute favorite Greek vegetable dishes. It's cauliflower you know, roasted with extra virgin Greek olive oil, actually one of my favorite extra virgin Greek olive oils. This one is called terra creta and it's from the western side of Crete the mother of the Mediterranean diet. It's a wonderful olive oil from one of the most beautiful groves in all of Greece. Um, a little bit of rosemary, garlic. This dish is so good that I even get my kids to eat cauliflower when I make it. Always rinse your vegetables before you cook them. Emptying the florets into my baking dish. You should have a dish large enough so that the cauliflower fits basically in one layer. I'm gonna add my garlic next, and you need a bit of garlic in this. That's really what gives it the, you know, its flavor, the garlic and the rosemary. Just getting, separating these cloves. I'm gonna use uh, five small cloves in this. And I'm just gonna smash each one of them to get the peel off, uh, cut them, and add them to my uh, cauliflower, and then add everything else. Get it in the oven. Forget about it for a while. I'm actually going to cut this into uh, fairly thin slices. You can also chop it. I actually, I like the way it looks when it's cut into slices. I think in this particular dish, it works much better. So there's a lot of texture in this dish. The cauliflower has its own texture and the garlic, when it's kept in pretty large but thin pieces, also adds um, its own uh, texture to this dish. And of course the rosemary, um, which is not a subtle herb, and it's, not, it's, a, it's also an herb that has a bite to it, that has a texture. So I'm just going to get my garlic in here, spread it around. I'm going to toss this as soon as I add my olive oil to it. Um, get a little bit of rosemary. Now you can do one of two things. You can add the whole sprig. You can cut it up in bits. It looks very pretty once it's baked. And this is really really potent, really strong and aromatic rosemary. It's very fresh, it's really pungent and strong. That's what we want. Rosemary is not a shy herb. It's something you have to really like. And with cauliflower and garlic and olive oil and a little bit of Greek sea salt, it's out of this world. A little bit of salt. This is Greek sea salt and it's really wonderful, very flavorful and delicious. You could use any sea salt in this though. It doesn't have to be Greek. You can find this all across the United States if you look for it in Greek stores um, and Mediterranean stores. Um, the next thing that goes into this is uh, extra virgin Greek olive oil, and I'm using one of my favorite olive oils uh, called terra creta. This is from Western Crete, the mother of the Mediterranean diet. That's where everything began when it comes to the Mediterranean diet in Crete. You'll see I'm using an, a lot of olive oil, copious amounts of it for this dish. It's what defines the cuisine. It's what makes our cuisine so delicious, and it's what makes our veg and it's what makes our vegetable cooking so craveable. Just a little bit of cracked pepper. I'm going to toss it with a bit of uh, Greek balsamic vinegar. This particular vinegar comes from a place that a lot of people are familiar with, Kalamata. Just a little. You need some acid. You could also do lemon juice if you're not, uh, if you're not a fan of vinegar or balsamic vinegar. I'm going to toss this all together, put a cover on it, roast it until it gets soft, and then take the cover off and let it get some color, let it get some crispness. With a little bit of feta cheese and some good bread, this is a meal by itself. You don't really need anything else. One of countless main course vegetable dishes. You could also use it as a side dish. So I'm just gonna get this in the oven. 375, I've just taken this out of the oven, my roasted cauliflower with olive oil and salt, with Greek olive oil and salt. I'm just gonna get this into my serving bowl. A little bit of that in here. It's got that nice crispy uh, brown uh, color that we looked for on top. And I embellish this with a little bit of rosemary and garlic and the olive oil that I used was a, my, one of my favorite olive oils, a Greek olive oil from Crete. I will get some of this delicious juice in there. It's, the stuff that's on the bottom of the pan is always the most, the most flavorful. I'm gonna garnish this a little bit. Now I think it needs a little bit of color, so I'm just gonna add a sliced grape tomato on top and a little bit of, little bit of fresh rosemary, roasted cauliflower, with olive oil and salt. And just gonna drizzle a little bit of this golden, delicious Cretan olive oil called terra creta right over that. 
I can't not taste this. It smells so delicious. Mmm, and it is good. And this is the only dish I think makes cauliflower taste irresistible. And it's my Cretan olive oil that's helped make it so good. The garlic, the rosemary, the balsamic, and sea salt. Coarse, beautiful Greek sea salt. I'm Diane Kachilis, Greek-American chef and cookbook author and owner of the Glorious Greek Kitchen, a lovely cooking school on the Greek island of Ikaria, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And that's my roasted cauliflower with Greek olive oil and sea salt.